Book of Genesis, chapter 10. Nations descended from Noah. These are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Mede, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rephath, and Togar Togarmah. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these the coastland peoples spread in their lands, each with his own language by their clans and their nations. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, Havilah Sabta, Ramah, and Sabteca. The sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dadan. Cush fathered Nimrod. He was the first on earth to be a mighty man. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Erech, Akkad, and Kalna, in the land of Shinar. From that land he went into Assyria and built a Nineveh, Rehoboth, Ir, Kala, and Resin, between Nineveh and Kala. That is the great city. Egypt fathered Ludum, Anamim, Lehebim, Naph Naphtuhim, Pathrusim, Pathrusim, Kaslehim, from whom the Philistines came, and Kaphturim. Canaan fathered Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, and the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zemorites, and the Hamatites. Afterward, the clans of the Canaanites dispersed, and the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sidon in the direction of Gerar as far as Gaza, and in the direction of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, by their clans, their languages, their lands, and their nations. To Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the elder brother of Japheth, children were born. The sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arpikshad, Lod, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, and Mash. Arpikshad also, Arpikshad fathered Shalah, and Shalah fathered Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan fathered Almadad, Shalef, Hazarm, Hazarmaveth, Jera, Hadaram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimel, Sheba, Ophir, Havilah, and Jabab. All these were the sons of Joktan. The territory in which they lived extended from Mesha in the direction of Sephar to the hill country of the east. These are the sons of Shem, by their clans, their languages, their lands, and their nations. These are the clans of the sons of Noah, according to their genealogies and their nations. And from these the nations spread abroad on the earth after the flood. So, this, just, this chapter just goes into how Noah's descendants you know, populated the earth, right? So, there isn't really much, like... Well, at least I feel like there isn't really much to learn from this chapter, other than how the world got repopulated after the flood. Uh, so, yeah, like, I'm not gonna dig too deep into this one. But I will say, I am sorry for butchering all of those names. I know I butchered every single one of them. <laughs> like... I'm just, I don't really know how to say most of these names, honestly. Like, these aren't the names of someone that it would come across on the day-to-day, -day, considering where I live. The most common name you'll hear is, like, Keen. You get me? Like, I, like, I don't, I've never met someone named Lud. I mean, that, that one's, like, one of the more easier to pronounce names in here. I've never met someone named Jockton before, 
But if I ever do, I think I would respect his name because that's, that's a pretty sick name. So yeah, like, again, not much to really dig deep into here. Uh, it, it also, again, apologies for butchering all of those names. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is. Have a blessed day.